Hey everybody, welcome to Contra Thoughts. My name is Richard and we've got a new episode with some reactions coming up next. All right, hey, so welcome new subscribers. I know I've been saying that and uh, I'm really thankful. Again, I'm, I'm happy that people are coming along for the ride and uh, you're hitting that little like button and <clears throat> subscription, subscription button. But it doesn't cost anything. So if you haven't done it yet, please do so. It's, it really, really will help me out <clears throat> and make me feel a lot better about myself. I've been fasting. I'm just kidding. Um, but not kidding about the subscription, so please do that. I've been fasting. Not for spiritual reasons, so I feel the inclined that I'm gonna do it. Uh, I was actually looking up a lot of stuff on YouTube and whatnot, and um, it's actually pretty good. It's actually pretty healthy, uh, at least if you do it right and you're eating good food when you are breaking fast, you're not just eating Reese's or donuts or something. And uh, anyway, so there's different ways to do it, like once a day fasting uh, or one, one meal a day, or like you skip breakfast and, and breakfast at one day, and then you have lunch and dinner and then skip and then skip a whole day. And anyway, you do different stuff. And I don't know, I've, I've found a lot of success with it. So if you're kind of struggling with weight loss um, and just kind of feeling more lethargic and just stuff like that, it's actually really helped me with energy and other things too. So anyway, uh, I'm not gonna say talk to your doctor because you can do whatever you want. I'm not a doctor, you can listen to me or not. It doesn't really matter. So, um, but it's helped me out, helped my wife out. So we've done a no no sugar and a bunch of other things. Uh, but it's not like a no diet where you have to eat all the time, but you're always hungry. But you're kind of, once you push through a level of um, hunger, you kind of like you skip lunch, you're working hard or you, you're on a road trip or something like that. You Your body actually pulls from the resources. Once all your... The idea is all your glucose is gone, all the sugar that you've eaten, that's gone. It starts going into the re the reservoirs. At least that's how many others experts um, uh, explain it. And so, anyway, that's not what this video is about. I am going to eat this though, as per a. Um, this is the big cup. Look how thick that is. This is like double. Bottom line, Dad, he's got a good channel. You should check out. He does a lot more videos than even I do. Um, <clears throat> he said he doesn't like the big cup. I don't know. What do you think, Will? I mean, it's not normal peanut butter. Like, there's like honey and other stuff in it. They mix it around. TBHQ, that's a preservative. That's always delicious. Thanks, Hershey. Make exceptions, though. That is good. I had some disparaging comments um, a while back. And a, a listener, she found offense to it. This is good. Those are good. Those are better than the little foil-wrapped Reese's. Anyway, that's what this is about, right? No fasting, no races. We're going to do a reaction video. Woke Preacher Clips did one and uh, posted it. So we're going to watch it together and we're going to react, okay? All right. Eating in a mass are minimal requisites for anyone who would wish to follow Jesus. A vaccine and a mask are minimal. What are the maximal? Like getting a booster shot every six months or every three months, wearing two masks or three, like Fauci. <laughs> what, what are you talking about? Like minimal requirements. This wasn't even a thing a year ago. Like in, in my state in Kentucky, just over a year ago, <clears throat> there was no vaccine, right? So you couldn't, I guess, be a minimal Christian uh, and follow Jesus with no vaccine. Um, and then we didn't even have to take wear masks until like July. And then that just stopped back in like April. I kind of didn't really wear it most of the time anyway. But um, like how, how can you say that even jokingly in a sermon? Unless you're just abjectly poking fun of the nonsense that's going on. But this guy looks professional. I mean, he's got a stained glass and like a pipe organ. I don't have a stained glass or pipe organ. And I wear kind of nice clothes, but I don't wear like the cloak, the uh, Martin Lloyd-Jones cloak thing. <laughs> like, what are you even talking about? I mean, yeah, right? That's exactly what Jesus says. You should just listen to the government at all costs, no matter what, even if things are contradictory, even if people are lying to you, even if deception happens, doesn't matter. Throw your senses that I gave you out the window 
and just obey those who have more power than you, which is exactly the opposite of what these leftist liberal commie people want, right? They say, oh, all the powerful people and, and this and that are the bad people, aka people with, you know, less melanin. And how's that work exactly? Like, how am I supposed to, like, minimally follow Jesus? I, I, my brain, actually, my brain's just going to implode even thinking about it. So maybe you figured it out and all their hypocrisy. I've not, so. My name is Nathan Russell. My pronoun preferences are he and him. And I serve... What? What? <laughs> no. No, no. <laughs> Seriously? <laughs> oh, I didn't make it this far before. <laughs> he said his pronouns to his church, quote unquote, church congregation right before. Like, what? Oh, God have mercy on his soul. Oh, 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 man. <laughs> mm. I mean, this has to be, this guy has to be like some, like, conservative prankster. Uh, this can't be real. Like, could you imagine, like, a Sasha Baron Cohen type, but like a conservative and not a liberal hack, and going in... But the problem is conservatives don't want to lie. We want to do what's right with people. So I, don't, I couldn't see an average conservative doing this. But man, <laughs> kind of like how AOC is like a parody of herself. Like I don't even think she's she's real. I mean, she's real, but she just says the most stupidest things and most outlandish things because she doesn't believe it. I think she's just, she's just being paid. But anyway, um... <laughs> he gives his pronouns to his church. Didn't they know that already? Didn't like I... <laughs> okay. <laughs> this congregation as its senior pastor. Anyone who wants to save their life, Jesus says, they'll lose it. And anyone who loses their life for my sake and for the sake of the gospel, to save it. If this episode were to happen today, September the 12th, 2021, here's how I think it would go. If anyone wants to become my follower, and get your vaccinations <laughs> and find a mask. <laughs> and over you did it. Nose. He did it. And this guy did this like two days ago, three days ago. <laughs> get your vaccination. You lying, deceitful man full of dead men's bones. You are a hypocrite and a deceiver. You are a liar. And the word is not in you. You're not preaching the gospel. That is not anything for the power of God unto salvation for all who believe. You will be destroyed sooner or later. Matthew or whatever your name is, doesn't matter. Oh, God, we'll have mercy on you if you repent. But right now, you're living in rebellion. And I ask you that you should repent now. Bow the knee to the real Christ, not the Christ of whatever book you read <clears throat> or whatever seminary professor told you in your liberal school that you probably went to. God will have mercy on you. But you have to be as the publican, the one who pounds his chest, who can't even look to heaven when he's giving, giving his offering, standing in the corner saying, have mercy on me, a sinner. Not like the Pharisees who say 10% of this and 10% of this and I'm this. And thankfully, I'm not like that tool bag and loser over there. Thank you, God, that I'm who I am. Sound familiar? This is hilarious and also utterly wicked. And I'm not going to do anything else because this guy is insane off the flipping rails. He's virtue signaling at minimum. But further still, he is void of the gospel and damned if he continues on this path. Damned. 
Because this gospel that he has, getting a vaccination and wearing a mask, are you freaking kidding me? That is stupid and evil and just flat out wrong. They had leprosy in Jesus' day. Jesus could have easily made some sort of actual statement like this clown pretends to make. As if this were to happen today, I think. At least he says, I think. Well, I don't really care what you think, friend. We should care what God thinks and what the scripture says. And what the scripture says is you're a hypocrite and a liar. And your place will be in the lake of fire if you don't repent of your sin. We're done. I'm done. You guys have a good day. Comment, like, subscribe. Go watch this whole thing. I'll put it, put it in the link below.